Okay, let's get going here. We're out on the water, shifting into gear. We got the trim all the way down on the 200 horse. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and line up here for a pass and we'll get the speeds and, and performance off of this setup. We're 364 hours, we're currently 6,000 RPMs, doing two and a half miles an hour. Okay. We'll line the boat out and then we'll get some uh, get some footage of our run here we've got suspension seats on here uh, these ones uh, I love how they're set up right now I'm on a uh, I can spin uh, freely and it makes it really quite nice actually to run the boat I don't ever feel like I'm gonna lose control because I've got a handle on the wheel here so there's really not any time that I'm not able to keep control Adding throttle there, we're going to bring it up to about 3,500 RPMs where it should take a plane. Okay, it's going to be nice and windy because I got the front open because we have a nice day finally here on the coast. There's 24 miles an hour almost, 23.8. We'll come up to only 3,800 RPMs. We are trimmed all the way down, so... I'm sure it's just because we're going to speed our bow sitting a little high. We have trim tabs as well, but we're not going to introduce those into this scenario yet. Okay, let's go ahead and put it into a spin. Performance is right on par. Yep, I like it. Everything seems good. That 200. Put into a tighter spin here. We'll hit our wake here in just a moment be able to feel that now we probably won't feel much because we have uh, suspension seats so you'll see me riding here yeah not much at all felt there we have a DV plus nice suspension seats these are made by WPS okay so that works good I'm gonna go ahead and top her out bringing the rpms up 50 uh, 5,000 rpms there passing 32 33 but I have to turn us now, so won't quite work yet. So we're gonna put it into a nice sharp turn here. Nice sharp turn, banking hard, and then we're gonna throttle, throttle out of it. You can hear the boat ventilate, how tight I was turning there. You can hear the ventilation. Okay, here we go, over our wake. Okay, let's go full throttle, and then I'm gonna start trimming up. It should be about top speed right here. So we got 36 or 5,500 RPMs. You know, that means we've still got some RPMs in this motor. I'm gonna bring the trim up more. There we go, trim's up pretty far there. We got 37, 37 or 5,600 RPMs. Cooking right along. Okay, I'm pulling into this turn here. Slow us down a little bit. Nice bank. Very nice. Performance is good. I like the way this thing rides and runs. I like the suspension seats. I love having nothing stopping me from turning. And a lot of people think, oh, that's a problem. I mean, yeah, I can spin around, but it actually gives me the ability to operate the boat to move around to see out like i don't have to crank my neck to look like look at me here i don't have to crank my neck like that to look back look i can turn the seat and look back so much better visibility with this setup very nice and then these are the pro back seats those pro back seats are very nice very comfortable okay we're 22 3600 rpms that's probably our cruising speed right there about 24 miles an hour 3600 rpms just sits in there nicely. I'm gonna trim down a little bit more. Okay, I'll uh, do a couple other performance. I think we're gonna be able to get over 40 miles an hour with it. We'll try it, but uh, not with you guys because I can't hold you at the same time. All right, I'm excited to show you this 2016 Hughescraft Ocean Pro 220. So it's a 22 foot boat, but you also have the extension of the hull onto the tr onto the bracket. So it's about a 24 foot boat. Uh, starting out on the front of the trailer, easy loader trailer, we do have a two inch ball here. 
and we have a, a round seven connector to plug that in. Uh, surge brakes, of course, with a swing away tongue, gives it a little bit extra space savings uh, and allows you to put in a tighter spot. A nice heavy jack here underneath or for the, the front, a two speed stanchion in, in Fulton winch. And then looking down the boat, it does have bottom paint on the bottom. So it was bottom painted originally. And there's a couple of specks missing here and there, but for the most part, the bottom paint's all intact. Uh, if you notice here, there's an exhaust for the heater. It does have a really nice Obasto heater in it, uh, diesel heater. We've got the Minn Kota Tarova on here. This is a manual deploy, not like the old Taro, which is an auto deploy, which is really nice though. If you'll see in the aerial video, I could walk through this front really easy to get up to the bow. So uh, you don't have the problems that you deal with on the other ones. Dirk's anchor bow up front, or uh, anchor roller up front. And then down the side of the boat, we look pretty straight. Not a lot of dings or dents. Uh, vinyl wrap top and bottom couple rod holders to the side of the house here in the cabin uh, as you notice too when you walk down this rail it's pretty wide on this boat so walking around it's not too hard and you have a rail to hold on to as you proceed to walk around it LED navigation light here also on the side up high it's kind of nice being up there trailer has uh, load guides or chine guides so these help it help it line up when you pull it up onto the trailer really nicely it's got some aluminum wheels oil bath hubs on here. There is some rust on these. Of course, they're all rusty, but the brakes did work. We had the behind the rig and I did notice that it did slow us down. So the brakes are engaging, which is, you know, on easy loader trailers, it's a, it's a hit and miss whether the brakes are gonna even work at all. Uh, we have, we have a LED lighting on here in the back on the trailer, that's pretty standard too as well. Uh, trim tabs here. And so the trim tabs are black because they're coated in, in bottom paint as well. So this vinyl wrap was put on the 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 it was it's pretty fresh so it's it's recently been put on, but they removed the uh, the bottom paint before they put that on so that was all cleaned off of there so there's bottom paint down from here lower if you are going to utilize that bottom paint you probably want to put some over the top of this vinyl um, because otherwise you'll have stuff growing there a little scratch here has been touched up. Down the side though, looks pretty good. A few little nicks and scratches when we get to those. Um, motor here, the 99 started up, ran really good. And, uh, this is, uh, yeah, 99 high thrust. And we also have the, the guard on it here as well. Not real necessary due to the fact that you're in such a big boat. I doubt you're in shallow enough water to need the guard, but it's there, it's there if you want it. All right, moving around to the transom area, we have, uh, I believe they're on the brand of these. I don't know the brand of the, the lights, but these are underwater lights. And man, they're cool. When, you, when you're underway at night, you can light up your whole wake and it just looks, it looks really cool. Uh, prop on here, as you notice in the run video, it probably could be propped up. We only got to 5,600 RPM, so there's about 400 RPM still. So we could get a little bit more speed out or bring it over 40. We only got 38 top speed uh, with one person in it. We hit 38. Plus, you'll get a more hole shot too. So I would definitely prop down one pitch on that uh, if you know if that's your desire. See, we've got uh, uh, good, good. Uh, Maintenance on the motors. I think it's all pretty recent. We should have records of that because it was done at the shop there. And nice ladder here. This back has been painted. As you notice, that's not really stock. They've uh, painted this black to just kind of tie it into the rest of the boat aesthetically. And the rest of the side of the boat condition it looks pretty good here. I can see a few places where they put some touch up paint here and here but they're really quite small no real big dents that I can see here yet a little in there so it's perfect you won't feel bad when you when you hit it and scratch it a little bit but it's not all banged up so it doesn't look terrible already okay another rod holder on this side all right let's hop in the boat here and check out the innards of course, it's hydraulic steering on this boat, and it does tie both motors together heavily. So usually you get the 
you kind of get the chintzy little little motor connectors that's a heavy duty steering rod that they've got attached to this so that's really nice actually they'll probably hold up because the little panther ones don't hold up very long you only get a year or two out before the rods all rusted to pieces okay uh, fuel is on this side here the support side and then let's look in the fish box here I like the fish boxes on these because they're actually insulated a little bit not a lot but a little bit and you got a divider in here as well for that uh, wash down we tested the wash down it did spray it's probably got a little bit of pressure we'll see oh, no pressure built up left but we ran that and it ran good uh, we've got electric reel plugs there and let's see we do have scotty bases here for downriggers off the verify we'll have it in the ad whether or not those come with it or not and then here is a really nice feature so this is your noco plug uh, what this does is you plug your 112 or 120 volt in and it will charge your house batteries and your trolling motor batteries off of one 120 volt plug uh, extension cord plugged into there which is pretty dang cool okay area in the back here Let's just look here for condition here we've got two batteries in there decas good good batteries they look pretty much new too 24 m7 so those are the 800 cold cranking amps so they're pretty good sized batteries there you go typical kind of bilge nasty in here but not too bad it doesn't smell that's how it works there the side here okay there's actually some open space if you want to rig some more items in there. This here pumps out your fish box there. That's a momentary switch. What is that for? I do not know what that's for, actually. Well, we'll play with that. Okay, nice amount of deck space in this boat. There's high sides. Look, I'm 6'1". It comes all the way up to here, so it's pretty high-sided, uh, which makes it nice, makes you feel comfortable in there. we got a rear helm, too. So you can run the trolling motor. So this is the trolling motors. Start, shift, everything right here for the trolling motor. As you'll see in the video too, I use the autopilot on the Minn Kota to steer the boat and everything. And I just put this in gear. And then after that, once I had it pointed, I could just worry about everything else in the boat. Rigging lines, putting lines in and out, because that thing took control and just drove us and steered us. And it would probably go all day because I was only had that set on number three, the thrust was coming from the trolling motor that works a uh, nice deck light here lumatech deck light and then we've got rod holders off of here six one i can grab them that's actually a good deal uh walking through oh there's also i call them the medicine cabinets here in the side let's see what we got here oh you can see in there nothing in this one and then we've got this side as well and these are kind of a nice little storage area because I mean, little things you need to put here and there works out great. We've got a Lawrence Elite 7 FS. This is a pretty new model here, a pretty fresh model. So you've got that for the front or for the back here. And then going inside, I've uh, got good clearance, 6-1 again. I can do that. We've got the shower, or not the shower rail, but the, the curtain rail for the restroom. So right underneath here, we have a porta potty. And this cushion can just basically be pulled out uh, this does also if I'm not mistaken have these pieces and this can turn into a bed okay so that's hinged there and then this porta potty here could be turned sat right here and then I can take this oh it snaps over here that's cool so there's a snap to keep it out of the way And I get a little bit of privacy in here. That's right, I can still see out. Oh my goodness, there is even a cover over here. Look at that, no peeking at all. Completely enclosed there. Okay, so there's kind of your porta potty scenario. And let's see, we have the bars for this. If not, I'm sure they're attainable, but these backs come off. Let's see if they're in here. Oh, yeah, they're there. So these bars here, they go across these two sections here. So as you can see that section and that section. 
and then you put both of those up and then these meta, these two filler cushions are the exact size to fill this in so that you can uh, make a bed out of this little area right here. Take a nap, do your camping, you're inside, pretty sweet. Okay, so that's kind of your seating scenario in here. Uh, the bigger 48 inch wides, uh, grab handles, lots of grab handles everywhere. I like having the shower one here. You got these up here, so you get that. Now, uh, VHF radio up top here. Looks like it fires off. We'll probably hear some talking here in a second, maybe. Okay, Lorez HDS9. I don't know what version this is, but it's the HDS9. It's probably about a 20, 20 probably original the boat is my assumption, is that this is the original boat. Also runs the radar up top. We've got radar on this boat. Okay, so then we've got the controls here for our heater. I'm not going to turn it on right now. It's really hot out here, but we will test it here. 60. Let's see, we're going to turn it way hot there. I don't think it's more than 80, 88 in here. We'll let that fire off here and we'll know in just a minute how it's doing, but that's actually new. Uh, the heater's been put in very recently. Here's your ducts here for your, for your uh, windows. Okay. And then we had the wipers, cool wipers there. So we got those to keep that out of the way. Plus we've got a nice big window in the middle as well and stuff. Uh, bilge, well, wiper, bilge pump. You can hear, hear that fire off and I would hit the horn. It worked earlier, but this lady over here staying next to us might get a little offended. Okay. And then we have our nav lights here, courtesy lights, which are up here on the ceiling. See those kick off and on. Those are LEDs live well i don't know if this actually it does have the live well okay it says off you have to figure out how to operate this it looks pretty simple shouldn't be doing it in front of the camera though because i'm wasting your time okay i hear it firing off i could set a timer for how long i want it on too so you can hear that running and hear the little fuel pump running. Oh, let's show you under here. This is the rigging for the batteries. So those are your two batteries to run that bow mount trolling motor. Okay. And there's a circuit breaker in there too. There's a little storage underneath these fronts. There's a, there's the diesel tank that's holding the diesel fuel for the, the heater there. Okay. Control team. You know, I didn't test the control king. There's no way to test that unless you got the motor running. I guess you can run it on the hose. We could test that. All right. Now, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff here. But that runs the trolling motor. That's how you throttle up and down the, the trolling motor to get more of a precise, a, a precise amount. Okay. Our heater's fired off now. I'm going to actually turn that off. go let that cool down and uh we don't need this on anymore but yeah that's pretty much i think the the it was very easy to deploy the bow mount motor um as i maybe explained in the video i really love that we have these wps suspension seats in here and and i love it not everybody might love it of course i think most people will if they they try it it's first it doesn't sound right but these are on non-locking swivels so you see that now I'm not worried about it because I have a steering wheel here and a shifter so I'm not worried about going anywhere but the best part is, is man, I can turn around and check things like that I'm looking out the back of the boat I'm looking out the front of the boat that simple like that's a big deal people like think about it that was it getting out I'm up if I come from here and the chairs turn this way look I'm in my seat did you see the ease of that? Okay, that's just a personal preference, but I think that most people, if they tried it, they would love it. Okay, uh, let's see, big open area. We got out into the bow easy enough. Um, see, you could put some stuff up on the roof if you wanted to tie something down up there. Okay, uh, to, to deploy the motor, all you do is you unhook that, and then you just basically need to step on this little guy here. And that'll allow you to manually do it. It's not very heavy. 
I can't put it all the way down because of the cement, but that's all I would do. And then to bring it up, I just step on that. And then you just kind of pull it up into here. And then it's got this little, it's got this little support here. Makes it so it doesn't want to bounce around. So there we go. I think that's pretty much covers everything. I'm sure with a boat this much, there's a lot going on. So I very likely could have missed something. However, it looks like it's a well-sorted boat. Everything seemed to be working. Cobwebs here and there. You see a little bit of your saltwater corrosion coming on a few things like these snaps here. You see a little bit around the snaps. If you look close, we don't want to show all the details up close because we don't want you coming over uh, driving a long ways and then finding out that we didn't disclose everything. Uh, so we try to do these videos to give you good uh, things. There is, and this is typical on all of these Hughes crafts right here, is this seal comes together and there's always a little tiny bit of water that gets through. And then you get that peely paint right there. Uh, galvanic corrosion underneath that paint just peels it up. Uh, the fix on that is to sand it down and repaint it or leave it. Because it usually doesn't go much further than that. All right. Oh, didn't show the fish box. We got a fish hold down in the belly. Full size fish hold. It's the bottom of the boat. Has a drain in the bottom. Pretty sweet. Okay. It's ready to go fishing. It's ready to fish with this boat. So there you go. Nice ocean setup. Go camping on this thing. Go exploring with it. There's all kinds to do with the boat like this. That 200 handled the boat good. I think with that prop, we're going to be able to hit 40 miles an hour. Uh, it's plenty fast on pretty much any boat, especially this big. Plenty fast to get you there, cruising around 25, 26 knots. Sound just about right. Um, lots of room that you're going to have inside, outside. You've got a year-round boat with this thing, so you're not just thinking all uh, summertime. This is a winter boat, too. So you'll be out there getting the lean cods in February when they're in close, getting the big boys girls big girls um yeah this would be a, this is a great little setup i love having a full enclosed cabin you can lock this at the docks and not worry about people stealing your stuff it's a great little setup i could really be pleased with it it's not brand new but it's new enough good motors ready to go and it's already sorted like ready to go